Hey, hey gang. gang, and happy holidays. We are getting closer to the actual day, and we are very excited for what we're gonna do tonight. We are meeting up with some friends to do a little... A bit of a crawling on the monorail, yeah. maybe? Yep, we're definitely gonna crawl on a monorail. If you guys wanna do that with us, you gotta come, come along. along. It's based off our name. As you can see, the start of our monorail crawl is beginning at the Contemporary Resort. And what's gonna be so fun about this is we're gonna get to see all the Christmas decorations as we go along and have different little Christmassy drinks and snacks at each resort. what I'm gonna call them. Our crawl crew is already here in the lounge. Let's see if we can go find them. Right, I found part of our crawl crew. That's what I'm calling you guys. You're the crawl, crawl crew. crew. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, let's get our Christmas crawl on. We ordered some drinks. Everything's coming together. Our crawl crew captain is here now. Mr. Nick. Captain. Yes. <laughs> That's what I said you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> you didn't know that this is what you are, but you are. And it was just Nate's birthday, so it's like we're having like a second birthday celebration. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys have heard about Steakhouse 71, but it actually used to be the Wave. So they completely remodeled this and it is absolutely stunning. The look of the restaurant is completely transformed. They kept basically the same pillars and the same rooms. They just made it a little bit more contemporary, which is appropriate. And I absolutely love the little twinkle lights on the ceiling. I don't even know if you guys can see how magical that looks. And all the artwork is so contemporary and so cool. And so for our first drink, we are gonna split the Coco Boulevardier. It's Knob Creek Disney Single Barrel Reserve Bourbon, Carponi Antica Formula Vermouth, and Chocolate Bitters. And Nate got the Snowy Dreams, Cavassier Cognac, Creme de Coco Half and Half with Holiday Spiced Syrup. And then he's actually gonna let us try a little taste of these wings. He got the P, B, and J chicken wings. They are sweet peanut glaze and jelly powder on top. That's not bad. And look what Josh and Taylor got. You guys, this does not show how giant it is. Taylor, put your hand on it. It is like a huge. Fish bowl. It literally is a fishbowl. It's, it's called a, a tequila sunrise. And I think it even says it it drinks uh, two to four people. Or you or it two to four people to drink it. <laughs> And there's probably multiple uh, glow cubes in there too. I, I feel like that's more two. than yeah, it one. It looks like there is. Yeah. I see one right there, and I think there's another one over here. And so, as Taylor right likes there. to say, you're, you're coming, coming home, home with me. With me. <laughs> so, we gotta try the PB&J chicken wing. I have had peanut butter and jelly wings before at other places, but I have not had one at Disney, so you guys know it makes everything better. Did, Mine's it, already gone. did it make everything better? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Let's try it. You guys would not believe this, but it tastes like peanut butter and jelly chicken wing. It's yeah. really, really good. Sweet and savory, super crunchy, double fried. Love it. Look at Taylor. She is chopsticking her little glow cubes out of her drink. Oh no, I turned the light off. We definitely made a dent. We drank some water, we did some drinks, we killed the wings. On to the next. So we are on our way, and yes, this is a monorail crawl. More of the crew just got here. My girl Maria is here, and her man. Hey, hello. <laughs> so now that the crew is complete, I think we're gonna have one more drink at the Contemporary before hitting the monorail and actually doing the crawling that we've been telling you about. And to keep up with the sea theme, I think there's some cornhole boards. So we can have a Christmas cornhole crawl with the crew. As we promised, right over here, you can come and play some Disney Contemporary Cornhole, and the view is not too shabby either. Looking over Bay Lake, it is stunning. Take a sip. 
Yeah. Oh, so close, Chris. So close. Let's see it, Josh. Let's see it. Nice! All right, everyone take a drink. Take a drink. Corn in the hole. This isn't really corn. It's a bag. But get the bag in the hole and then take a drink. Yeah, and you have a drink. Anytime you score, you take a sip. All right. We're pacing oh, ourselves, and hopefully she'll miss. And she didn't. No. <laughs> and she didn't. Everybody sip! <laughs> okay, so Maria had this great idea like for us to all come take a picture by this little Mickey, because they have it all set up for you. But we're gonna do it more of a friends theme. You guys will see. We are just having too much fun, doing TikToks, having some drinks, playing some cornhole. But finally, it is time to crawl. We are heading to our first little monorail trip. And next is my favorite, my favorite stop, Polly. All the way, oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. just here and checking out all the Christmas but I can never come to the Poly too much especially at the holidays and when we were here last we did come to Tambu and get my lovely back scratcher that I love but since we're on a Christmas crawl we're kind of looking for more holiday type drinks so I think we're gonna go check out their pool bar that they have I think they have a specialty cocktail there Taylor knows the specialty drink what is it? It is a gingerbread cookie cocktail yeah we're, we we getting that. That's yes. going in our tummy. For sure, right, oh Maria? Oh my god, I love gingerbread. <laughs> seven, yes. seven of them, right? Yeah, seven! Because <laughs> oh we're on Seven Seas Lagoon. Exactly. <laughs> this is the gingerbread cookie drink. It's vodka, Godiva chocolate liquor, gingerbread syrup, and vanilla ice cream. And also, we're gonna try the frozen martini with watermelon Dole Whip. Everyone is recommending that we get it. Gray Goose Vodka blended with the Dole Whip watermelon and a little bit of sugared rim. We got a lot of pink drinks and we yes. just created that we drink pink on Wednesdays, right ladies? Yes, yes we do. Yes. <laughs> so the watermelon is great. What did you get? Yours is a little different, Maria. I just didn't get no the sugar, sugar rim. rim. Oh, no sugar because rim. Because I get really hyperactive. I got you, I, I love it, I, I'm here for it. And then the boys yourself, got yeah. all the gingerbread delights. How do we think, boys? Do we like the gingerbread okay. delights? Really good. Gingerbread delights. Yes. I don't think that's yeah. the name, but that's, that's awesome. what I'm calling it. I felt left out, so I also. Oh, felt, you also got I felt left out. So. <laughs> Captain Nate is leading us. Where are we going? To the beach. We gotta go to the beach. We, we gotta have a Florida Christmas. All the swings not there. So no swinging, but there are plenty of chairs for our leisure. Nothing quite better. Oh just looking over at these beautiful resorts at Christmas with a gingerbread cocktail. This is amazing with the little cookie sugared rim. It tastes like Christmas in a cup and I'm here for it. I love it. And so for our next drinks, we are actually coming to Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace. If you are unable to get into Trader Sam's, you can come right here to their outdoor patio and get all the same drinks. And that's what we're gonna do because the wait is two hours. So we have more monorails to crawl. We, we can't wait that long. But luckily it's super magical out here. It puts you right in the Meli Kaliki Mai Tai mood. And since I was just here at Trader Sam's and got the delicious Meli Kaliki Mai Tai Christmas cocktail that they have, have here. I think we're just gonna get some regular little drinks as well as a little appetizer. I'm gonna try their Thai chicken flatbread. It is $12 and it's served with bacon and peanut sauce. How is that flatbread, Trav? It's good. So good, good, right? And I don't know if you remember this, might be being sentimental because it's our two year anniversary. This is the first thing we ate when we checked in here when you proposed to me. Aww. So now it's a special pizza. <laughs> I like I like making pizza even more special than it already is. <laughs> Well, 
squeeze but we are still going to try to carol on the monorail Travis is somewhere over there here we go one two three Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Rosero I know Felicidad I want to wish you a Merry Christmas like Christmas caroling on a monorail crawl in a monorail and we got strangers to like join in. We are now heading into the Grand Floridian and I'm excited because I think where we are going to get our next little drink is someplace I have not been. It used to be called Meisner's Lounge and now it's called the Enchanted Rose and it's a Beauty and the Beast theme lounge. I'm so excited. Ordered drinks. We're all just kind of looking at the menu right now, but Josh got these. That's what happens when you walk. <laughs> when you walk, you get to eat. He did walk and beat us here, but look at the delicious truffle fries he got. They're infamous. They look, they look pretty famous. That, that looks delicious. They're pretty good. And so there are three different rooms here in this lounge, and we are actually sitting in the library. And so as you can see, there are books, paintings, they even have Cogsworth and Lumiere hanging out here. So very classy, very well done Beauty and the Beast. And then this area at the main bar with the beautiful chandelier is kind of like the ballroom where you see Belle and the Beast dance. The chandelier even reminds me a little bit of how her dress flowed dancing with him. And then right through here, this is the Enchanted Forest. They have the beautiful branch chandeliers in here as well as this enchanted forest mural that just puts you right into the movie. For our drinks, Travis is going to get the seasonal old fashioned. It's Widow Jane 10 year straight bourbon whiskey with house made seasonal syrup and bitters. And then they have a tail of cocktails. You can either get the Amour or the Envy. And I went with the Amour. It's Grey Goose Vodka, Pavin Liquor de France, Pear, Lemon, Twinings of London, Chamomile Tea, Agave, and Rose Petals. Oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, you want to like run it around and around. There you go. Like run it around, just like that. Just like that. I love the Amour drink, how they put it in this like little red rose tumbler. It's definitely giving me Belle vibes and the taste of it. I am more. I, I really, really am more. <laughs> and then before we get on the monorail, Basin White is calling our name. We are we all go. washing our hands up grab? this evening with some Basin Sugar shade. Scrubs. Uh -oh, it's all <laughs> Nate is showing Travis the way. You gotta touch. You gotta really touch the sensors. Like go up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You Wet really gotta touch it. First, okay. And it's just, it's very busy in here, but the smells of Christmas and joy are definitely around. All right, Taylor is finding our final car to do some final caroling. Oh no. Where do we go? This one, this one. You guys are the lucky winner to have us sing in here. Uh oh. It's a full house, Nate. That means you gotta sing extra loud. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Exactly. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kids. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, Yes, Merry bye. Christmas! <laughs> bye, Josh and Taylor! Well, what a fantastic crawl we had. I definitely was crawling a little bit at the end and so 
glad we got to spend such a magical evening with friends. If you guys aren't already following all of our lovely friends, Nate, Maria, and Chris, and Josh and Taylor, please go to the description and follow all of their stuff. They are absolutely amazing. Didn't you have such a great night, babe? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I didn't want the night to end, but unfortunately, we <laughs> gotta go home to our little boy. <laughs> but it is a really, really long evening. Like Nate was saying, it seems like it's just like 20 minutes and it's over, but we were kind of doing it for like six, seven hours. It's a really, yeah. really fun, nice time. What was your favorite drink that you had? Mm, probably that old fashioned at the end. Um, the other drinks were pretty good, but I don't know. I feel like some of those drinks are just a little bit too sugary for, for me. They you. tasted good, but... Or the old fashioned was more but, your fashion. Yeah, they're good. I, the, the gingerbread um, drink was pretty good too. That's what I was about to say. The I think overall I enjoyed every single drink I had. I didn't really have one that I didn't like. So what, what was yours? Yeah, definitely the gingerbread for me. Yeah. I loved it with the cookie rim. It was so, so delicious. And if we don't see you guys before Christmas, this may be it. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We love you guys so much. Thanks for coming along. And Peace, love, positivity. And all the good things. <laughs>